Hi guys, welcome back to my video. In this video, we're going to be doing this super soft brown Chinese doyen makeup look from start to finish, so let's get into it. So my skin is already nice and prepped. If you want to see how I did that, check out my skincare tutorial linked up above. So starting with the base makeup, we're going to go in with color corrector. I'm using this kind of orangey peachy shade to match my skin color. Color correction is basically when you take a color that corrects another color on your face, and that's going to further aid in covering it up. A very clean base is essential for Chinese makeup, so we really want to use that color corrector to really hide all of our spots, especially our dark under eye circles. In this clean base in Chinese makeup, that also includes matteness. So we're not going for anything glowy. So I'm going to be using a very full coverage matte foundation. I'm just applying it right on top of where all my dark marks are and using a flat brush to blend it out. And I've been loving using a flat brush lately. I love how it gives you such a clean base and it's so smooth and easy. Plus, I feel like I use less product when I use it. So I still get the coverage, but with less product, which means preventing any cakiness by accident. Also take note of my motions of how I'm using the brush. I'm not swiping it. I'm just patting it in place to get maximum coverage. An easy way to get that clean look in your base makeup is having your under eyes match the rest of your face. So you'll see that I don't use a brightening concealer or anything. I just go in with the foundation directly under my eyes. And if you don't want to use foundation, just get a concealer that matches your skin tone to a T. When your face all looks one color, it's something about it is just so seamless and clean looking and it just looks beautiful. Going in with blush, I'm using this kind of neutral pinky color and I'm just putting this directly under my eyes. This is how we're going to get that super cutesy doll effect, not by putting it on your cheekbones, but just directly under the eyes. Blending it out with a stippling brush and you can see I'm just patting it in one place. I'm not going all over my face. I'm literally just tapping it in that one section. Also putting a little bit on my nose as well. And when I want to blend out the edges, I just go over with my foundation brush and do it like that. Moving on to setting powder, it's so important because this is where we're going to get that matte base. So I'm using a medium sized dense brush and I'm just swishing that around in the powder but before we go in with the powder you want to make sure to blend out those creases. If you don't blend out the creases when you put the powder on the creases will still be there and you're basically setting the creases in place and you do not want that. So by looking up as high as I can go I'm going to start setting my under eyes with the powder really pressing that into my skin and this is how I'm going to get rid of the creases and this is how it's going to stay on all day because I'm really pressing it into my skin with the powder. You just really got to get in there don't be afraid of going a little bit harder on my forehead though i don't have many creases or wrinkles and such so i only do a little bit of a light set Using my favorite pressed powder of literally all time, I'm just going to put this directly under my eyes as a topper. A colored pressed powder is really going to give you coverage and it's going to blur your under eyes even more. It's actually insane how good it is. It's an extra step, but I totally recommend doing it. For powder blush, I'm using this beautiful blush palette and I'm going in with two of the lightest shades to start as a brightener. You can see the color is in a red or a pink or a purple. It's just a really soft orange brown beige shade and it goes perfect for the aesthetic that we're looking for it just blends in so beautifully and just looks like a really fresh flush of color i have to keep in mind that this is still a powder and it's still a pretty pale blush so i'm going to go over with a big fluffy brush just to get rid of the excess and make sure that i don't get any sort of ashy look then going over on top with this slightly darker shade keep in mind it still is very pale that's what we're going for but this is just to add a tiny tiny bit more color Moving on to brows, I'm going to slightly lighten them with a blonde brow scara, and this is just going to lighten my brows up while still keeping them around the same tone of color. If you have super dark brow hairs like me, then this will make it very easy for you to soften your brows up a little bit without doing anything like bleaching. Also going to use a little bit of eyeshadow to fill in the hairs a little bit more because that brow scara is a little bit messy. So to be a little bit more precise, eyeshadow on a thin brush works really well. Another way to easily lighten up your brows just a little bit is by taking a little bit of foundation and slightly combing it through your brows this will easily just make them look a little bit more lighter a little bit softer while still having all that coverage from the eyeshadow and the brow scara keep them looking natural but a little bit more clean i'm going to take some foundation on a thin brush and i'm just going to clean up the edges with the foundation while there is a lot of structured eyebrows in chinese makeup you'll also see the trend of kind of having these untamed kind of boyish brows that's kind of what i'm trying to replicate which i think is really cute and you can also use your natural brows a lot more without having to do a lot more work getting into the eye makeup we're going to quickly set our eyes if you have oily eyelids like me this is like crucial you don't want any creases so just lightly set it with 
a little bit of powder going in with our eyeshadow i'm starting off with this slight warm toned brown shadow and i'm just going to put this all over my eyelids top and my bottom and then we're just going to use this as a base for the rest of the eye makeup look it's always good to have a nice base shade on your eye before going in with darker colors and such because we really want to have something for it to blend in with versus just it being our skin to add a little bit of depth into the eye look so it's not so flat, I'm going to go in with these two darker brown eyeshadows, a little bit more on the cooler side now. I'm going to put this both in the inner and the outer corner. I'm going to blend this out with a nice little smoky finish. This is going to just really make the look not look so flat and it's going to start getting more into the colors that we're looking for, those cool toned colors. This is where that's going to start to come in. When you're doing this, make sure not to add too much and go too heavy or else it's just going to look like punched in the eye look. So make sure you're going very soft and blend out a lot with a nice fluffy brush using a cream off-white eyeshadow i'm just going to put this in the middle for it to really stand out and this will make our eyes look a little bit bigger too and now we can get into the eyeliner i'm going to bring you up close and personal i'm using eyeshadow on a thin brush that's my preference starting by very thinly flicking out and then bringing it all the way back in towards the lash line and i'm going all the way back to my inner corner not just stopping on the end i'm going all the way by just lightly pressing it on my lash line so that it all looks like one line i would say this eyeliner is a little bit more medium again not too thin not too thick and it is going a little bit more upwards other than outwards key with eyeliner is to be very very precise and take your time don't rush through it it takes a bit of practice but being able to do eyeliner for your eye shape will definitely come to you eventually getting started on the egg yolk style makeup i'm gonna take this lighter dark gray brown color i'm gonna put this in my lash line not the water line the lash line this is gonna give us that smoky look while really making the egg yolk style look big and pronounced so it doesn't look so flat especially when we do the highlight it'll come together beautifully when it comes to egg yolk style makeup i truly believe highlight is the most important especially if you don't have natural eye fat like i do so you want to go pretty heavy with it and this egg yolk style pen is literally so perfect for it it's basically just a concealer pen and we're going to use this to highlight the egg yolk style like crazy so that it'll be nice and pronounced and we're also going to put this in the waterline mostly focusing it on the outer corner of my eye it should look something like this even though i have natural eye fat see how the highlight makes it look even more pronounced and it's going to go very well with the heavy eye makeup that we're going to do and to tone it down we're not just going to put eyeshadow right on top i'm going to take that dark brown eyeshadow and put it through the lash line so that the pigments will drop a little bit and it'll blend really beautifully with that highlight like a gradient now even with all this highlight and all these shadows we still want to add a little bit of contour just to define it even more because this is such a heavy eye look so i'm using that dark brown shadow again and just running it underneath my eye right on my eye fat you want to make sure that you're squinting while you're doing this so that you can see where you naturally need to draw that line as well for manhua lashes i'm going to use these strip lashes if you want to see how i apply them check out my other video which is linked above it adds so much to the look and i just love them but we need to complete the look by doing bottom lashes so you're going to take a really thick mascara and a pair of tweezers and you're going to apply the mascara to the tweezers and then you're going to go to your lashes and start clumping them so you're going to take about three to four lashes and just clump them together in a nice motion downwards but you're not going to pull out your lashes just clump them together and look how defined the lashes are they look like strip lashes but on your lower lashes lower lashes are a must in chinese makeup because of how it really completes the entire look now we're going to get into a very important key step the inner corner highlight so going in with this cream shade that i used before i'm going to go put this right in the middle of my inner corner but going upwards and blending up towards my eyebrow to add a little bit more of a pop we're going to go in with that white shade and do it again and the reason why this is so important is because the egg yolk style highlight is very bright so the inner corner highlight kind of evens it out and it makes it look a lot more cohesive with the entire eye makeup look now this is already a very heavy eye look but to add just a tiny bit more we're gonna go with a little bit of this translucent glitter it's so pretty a very silver shade this is more of a matte makeup look like i talked about in my last video i've been leaning more towards that but i still feel like this is a nice little add-on again we really want that inner corner to pop so i'm gonna take a little bit of this eyeshadow stick it has this really pretty champagne color i'm gonna put this right in the inner corner for a beautiful highlight i'm also gonna bring it slightly up and make sort of a faux cut crease shape but just with this eye 
eyeshadow stick and then with that soft shimmer glitter i'm just gonna put this again in the inner corner but dragging it down to where the egg yolk cell highlight is not going across my entire under eye but just from the inner to about the middle portion now we're done with the eye makeup so let's move on to nose contour i'm gonna start on a fluffy brush next to where i put that inner corner highlight and this is where the shadows naturally are so just accentuating this part really just defines your nose even more bringing it very thinly on my nose bridge and also a little bit on the tip of my nose i'm not trying to make my nose smaller i'm just trying to define it so that it matches the heaviness of the eye makeup without doing it it could look just a little bit flat like something's missing on my face i'm gonna go in with this powder highlight and i'm just going to blend out the lines of the contour and also put it directly down my nose bridge in the middle this is so key in nose contour like it just brings everything together and it really defines your contour without looking super unnatural and weird and i'll also put a little bit of that eyeshadow stick glitter combo on the highlight too just to give it a nice base for what else we're going to put on top of it coming back to the base for a second i'm going to apply that highlighter directly underneath my eyes because we really want to again be cohesive with the inner corner of the egg yolk style and right underneath so all that should be nice and cohesive with the brightness so the highlight plus the contrast of the nose contour just really adds to the look actual highlighter i'm going to use this gorgeous highlighter it's so pretty it's from kaleidos it's a beautiful colored orangey pink duo chrome highlighter putting this right underneath the outer corner of my eye we're not going all the way up like by our ears or anything just right there so that when you look forward you'll still be able to see that highlight it gives the most beautiful finish and it just makes your skin look so gorgeous moving on to the lippy i'm gonna go in with this matte brown lip i'm just gonna put this on the edges of my lip and really blur and blend it out this is going to be the base for basically every Everything else we put on top and putting a lighter orangey nude color in the middle of my lip and just blending that together with the brown both of these formulas are very blendable so it makes it really easy to just do with your finger lastly you know we need to finish this look off with a gloss going in with this shimmery clear gloss that has tiny little silver shimmers in it i'm just gonna go over on top of everything this is more of my simpler lip combos but it looks so good nonetheless and this is the finished look look how beautiful this is this is one of my favorite genres of makeup this cool tone brown look especially on brown skin i love this make sure to check out my other tutorials and like and subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time bye